What are we doing? I need you to remind me why we're here at this palace, at this party, which we are clearly not invited to. How are we not invited? Hmm, let's see. Do you have an invite? Do I have an invite? Nope. No? Not there. All I've got is a storybook and an old hat. Yes, but the notices said everyone was invited. What notices? The ones posted a few miles back on a path. I guess they didn't do their job if you didn't notice the notices. We should go. We shouldn't be here. But the path led us here. See, the key to any social situation is to walk confidently and with purpose. It makes you look and feel like you know what you're doing. Which we definitely do not. Or at least I don't. I forget that you know everything. I know. And you know more than you realize. Come on, you read all my stories. You've been spending time with me, so what would I do? Be as annoyingly cryptic as possible. Besides that, okay? Come on. Well, I guess in a lot of stories, people and things aren't always what they seem, and you're always talking about looking beyond the surface. Ah, so look around. Tell me what you see. Well, people talking, eating, dancing, Generally having an all-around, huh? What? Well, I was going to say good time, but nobody seems to be having an actual good time. They're going through the motions of it all, but their faces are tired. This all looks so expensive. How come nobody seems to be enjoying it? Now, that is a very good question. How do we find out? I'm afraid the answer is we ask why. Or more specifically, I ask. Excuse me, why does everyone look so exhausted? Where have you been? This is the fifth party this week. Each one lasts longer than the one before and attendance is no longer optional. But who's forcing you to attend and why? The new prince. No one knows why, but at this point, I think we're all too tired to care. You know, all that asking why. You're starting to sound more and more like me. Well, that's a scary thought. Only because you're afraid of the unknown. See, the path may lead you to places that may not seem the most logical to you. But if you stay on the path, it makes you become the person that I designed you to be. And following your own way just makes you more lost than confused. I don't think I could feel any more lost or confused than I do now. But that's just a feeling. Not necessarily the truth. See, you're on the path, so you know that you're not lost. And I'm the author. I see the whole story. So the more you learn to see how I see, the less lost and confused you will be. Okay. Okay. Let's dance. Let's not. That is not a thing that we should do. Come on. Well, into the fray, I guess. Last, a door out that isn't guarded. What is it with these folks in the woods and holding people against their will? I suppose they believe it'll help them with a problem that they have. Oh, cream puffs. What kind of problem could endless parties possibly solve? Where is this prince fellow? I'd like to see this guy that tries to make everyone eat, dance, and be merry. And I'd like to say to him, hey, we can dance if we want to, but we won't leave our friends behind. Oh, I hope you can dance, because if you can't, then you're no friend of mine. We can dance. Oh, um, your royalness, I'm so sorry, we were just... We? I was just telling myself how interesting it is the way you are conducting your parties. Everyone's talking about them. They are, are they? Yes. I don't have to keep dressing it up. I know how unhappy people are with the frequency of my parties. Then why, if I may be so bold, do you continue with them, your majestic... Oh, stop sir? that, stop that. I am no one to bow to. I should appear just about as ragged as you are. The clothes on my back and my knapsack. <laughs> the only reason I have a title is because the princess thought I was clever and married me. Ah! I don't know if she thinks that anymore. Come, tell me your grievances. It'll pass some more of the time. Oh, I don't really need to pass any more time. 
I'm just passing through. I'm following a path to save someone and while following the path brought me straight through the middle of your party. Well, who is this that is so important that you cannot stop and enjoy yourself for a while? Her name is Lumi. <sighs> yeah, I'm afraid you're far too late to help Lumi. You better just uh, get back on your path and I'm gonna get back to my party over here. Wait! You know Lumi? I did. She was my sister. Your sister? So Verna's your sister too? <laughs> yeah. But you're so... Different? <laughs> we always have been. Like spring and summer. Ah! Even before... So... You are cursed as well? <laughs> yes. The curse affects us all differently. For me, I was a sunny one, full of dreams. So now I look like something out of one. Bah! I can't even enjoy my dreams anymore. It's the most twisted kind of cruel. I'm sure Verna blames herself for not warning us, but there's no way she could have known what the Snow Queen was capable of. What keeps you from dreaming? Well, it's not that I can't dream. It's that when I do, they become more vivid, you might say. I'd say his dreams come to life as giant shrieking shadows. That's what I'd say. My wife, Princess Cell. That was one time, my dear. They don't always shriek. Sometimes they moan or rattle or... Wow, that sounds... It's terrifying. It finally escalated to the point where we just had to stop sleeping. I'm so sorry, my dear. I thought that our love could break the curse because who could ever learn to love a beast? Bah! I never thought you were a monster, but our subjects are beginning to. I think we need to find a better way than mandated merriment. I think I might have a way. You do? Well, it's this path I'm on to save Lumi. You said you're all cursed, so if I break her curse, does it break yours as well? I'm not sure if... But it doesn't even matter. Doing that would mean stopping the Snow Queen, and <laughs> that's an impossible task. As I was reminded recently, things aren't always what they seem if you look beyond the surface. Thank you for wanting to help us, but I'm afraid the price will be far more than you're willing to pay. No, it, it, it's better my way. We just need to get back to... You need to sleep. I thought we already went over this. We did. You said your dreams come to life as shadows, but shadows are just like your fear of them. Empty. They only hold the power that you give them in your mind because they can't hold any real substance. You haven't been in the room with these things. Sleeping doesn't even make sense. Trusting someone outside of ourselves can seem illogical and scary. I know that very well, but... You can't just keep running away from your problems. Oh, I don't run. I dance. <sighs> Woo! That wore me out. It's because you're exhausted. We all are. I can't tell if I want to throttle you or oh, faint. But I think I'll do both. Well... We can't just sleep with all these people over, and what about all the food that we ordered? Trust me when I say that the guests will be more than happy to leave and sleep themselves. Uh, and I have just been informed by a particularly hungry guest that we are out of most of the food, specifically the cream puffs. <laughs> he sure does clear away the excuses. Who does, dear? Oh, just this author that I know. Speaking of which, I should probably be getting on my way. Are you sure? Our palace is huge. We could get you a room far away from, you know, the dreams. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I just need to keep making my way towards Lumi. Right. Wait here, just a moment.
And she said that your crow talks. Doesn't everyone's? Anyway, she's engaged to this wild crow from the woods, and they were in the forest the other day and saw the Snow Queen fly by in her sleigh with another victim, a little boy. Another victim? Yes. She's been taking people to her castle in the north for quite some time, though we never see them return. But people do come looking for them. In fact, my crow said she stopped to talk to a little girl, asking about a little boy, J or K or... Hi? Oh, maybe that's it. I was wondering if you knew this little girl wandering alone in the woods. I do, actually. She's my sister. Oh, how wonderful. Well, wouldn't you like to stay here and wait for her? I would, but... Well, she has her path and I have mine. She probably thinks I'm still sitting safe at home. Well, we will let your story be yours to tell, but we will help her as best we can if she comes here. Thank you. That means more than you know. Now, I really should be getting on my way. I can barely see it, but there's my path just down there. Sure would be nice if there were a staircase right about here. Oh, I can help with that. Oh, no, that's okay. I can just use a... No, it would take an act of Congress, literally, to get you past the guards. This is a much quicker route. I use an excellent conditioner. It's very strong. <laughs> if you're sure... Here it is, my neck. Down here. Yeah. All right, my turn. Ow. Ow. One more. Ow. My knapsack. It'll carry your things, and it's got a little bit of magic left in it, so if you make it to Lumi in time, this could help save her. Many thanks, most magnanimous. No, stop that. Just, just call me Suvi. Thanks, Suvi. I'm Ritva. Farewell, brave Ritva. Goodbye, or should I say, sweet dreams. <laughs> we shall see. Ready for me to ascend, my love? No, my scalp is done. You can use the front door like everyone else. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Arthur, where are you? I can't believe they ran that out of cream puffs. Why do you keep disappearing at the most inopportune times? I haven't been disappearing. I've just been in the other room. With the food. What? What is this? This? This is me. Disappearing at an inopportune time. What? Why? Where are you going? Nowhere. You're clearly leaving. No, I'm not. I'll be here just as I always have. You just won't be able to see me. But I'll still be able to hear you? Great, now I'm going to be the crazy girl who talks to herself. Actually, you'll only be able to hear me for just a few more minutes. Seriously? You're just going to bring me out here to the middle of the forest and then abandon me? I'm not abandoning you. You just don't need me in physical form anymore. But don't worry. I'm leaving someone here to help guide you. Who? I'm back! What? No. Please not him. I can't concentrate with his constant interruptions. Ritva crosses her arms like a petulant child. Don't worry. He won't speak to you out loud neither. Wait. So I won't actually be able to see you or even hear him? Yes. So how will I know what I'm supposed to do? You already know. No, I don't quit saying that. In a few minutes, I will. 
This isn't funny. I don't have any idea what I'm supposed to do. So how is this different from when we first started? Well, you were more real, touchable. You believe because you can see me. It's easier that way, sure. But it's even better if you believe without seeing. How? How is this better? Because if you kept on like you were, the author would have to be with you everywhere, at all times, for you to make the right choice. But with me guiding you, even silently, you can do so much more than just obey specific spoken directions. You can think and live and love like the author. You know his stories. You've seen him at work. I'll just, I'll just help you remember. I'll point out the path when you start wandering from it. And I'll comfort you and help you make sense of where it takes you. If you'll let me. I'm going back. I can't do this alone. You're right, you can't. You can't do it without me. Think of your rooftop garden. I am the vine and you are a branch. If you rip yourself away from me, then, of course, you can't do anything. A branch away from the vine is just a brittle twig. But if you remain in me, if you continue to do the things that you have learned and follow the narrow path, then I remain in you. And my life, my power, my thoughts will flow through you. You will do things that you can't dream of right now, Riffa. Because when you make a request, it will be like the author asking for it. The journey will be hard. I'm not going to pretend it won't be. But I promise that he will use everything that knocks you down to prune away the parts you don't need and strengthen you. So that when the time comes, you can produce the most amazing, beautiful fruit. But, just like I said in the beginning, it is a decision you must make. Rit returns to the author's path and smiles. So what will you do, Riva? Choose to trust you. Yes. Follow the path. Good. Look beyond the surface. Always. Ask for your help with anything that I need. I'm always listening. And truly love through sacrifice. See? I told you she was a quick study. <laughs> What was that? Dream shadows. I guess Suvi and his princess decided to get that much needed rest. I think that it's time that I faced my fears as well. Um, ready? Oh yes. Ready, set, go! Surprise! It's a race! <laughs> Ridford runs off, laughing. And she's definitely winning.